it's gonna hurt some of y'all feelings, but your dream person ain't coming until you start working on your purpose. First of all, go back and watch the rest of that video because listen, it shocks me that women are surprised by this, okay? And probably like, what does that have to do with healing your womb? We don't get into that, okay? So, all of the women that I know that are in healthy, happy, successful marriages found their person while they were stepping into their purpose, already working in their purpose, or operating in their purpose. These were not women that were, you know, depressed, that were in anxiety, that were overwhelmed, that hated their lives. Because when you're in that state, you attract broken people. You don't attract people to you that are that are healed, that are in, you know, working in their own purpose as well. Okay? And I get it for women, you know, we've been brainwashed, we've been programmed, you know, due to societal society, the media, you know, even family to want to be saved, right? And I get it. But <laughs> as an adult woman, there's so many women out there, again, that have created a mess of their lives and think that somebody's going to save them from that. And don't understand the only person that they can attract in that state is an unhealthy, unhealed person that will tear their lives apart. And it's probably already happened to you, so you, pro you probably understand what I'm saying. But you are responsible for creating a beautiful life for yourself. Okay? And that's whether you're married, single, whatever. You're responsible for walking in your own purpose. You're responsible for fixing the mess that you made and not waiting on somebody else to do that. The government, a man, not waiting on that, okay? As an adult, you have the power to do that. You have the power to create a beautiful life for yourself. You have the power to create the life of your dreams. I'm not saying that your life is gonna be perfect, but you have the power, right, to make choices, to make decisions, to change the trajectory of your life, okay? And you waiting on somebody to do that, you're going to continue to attract because broken attracts broken. Overwhelmed, distressed out, you know, attracts uh, overwhelmed, distressed out, right? This is why a lot of people are in relationships, serious relationships and marriages and not happy because they attracted that person in a certain state. And maybe they've moved up in a state and now they're in a different state and that person is still the person that you attracted at a certain level, okay? So stop waiting on people to save you. Stop waiting on men to save you. Nobody's coming, number one. Nobody that is worth anything is coming. Get yourself together, okay? Walk in your purpose. Walk in your womanhood. Heal your womb. Get healthy, and you will see the people that you attract, okay? So listen, and we, I don't even want to talk about how healing is so important. I always talk about healing, healing the womb, but also important on not just a physical level, an internal, an emotional level, an energetic level, and you attract opportunities, people, you know, friendships even, just more abundance in your life that actually align with your purpose, okay? So how you do one thing, how you approach one thing is how you approach everything. I always tell you guys, so if your womb's a mess, your life's a mess, everything's a mess, Stop thinking that you're going to attract somebody that has a beautiful life themselves and they're going to want to interact with that. It's not going to happen. Okay? You're only going to attract broken. All right? Hopefully that's helpful.